Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be my first uh, Java console tutorial. So I'm going to be doing some co uh, tutorials on how to create J Java applications and run them in the console. I'm probably going to be mostly writing them in Notepad++, but I might write a few in Eclipse and then transfer them over to Notepad++. So in this one I'm just going to show you how to uh, download and install the uh, Java JDK, which is what you need to compile and run in your command line. So we're just going to go on over to the Oracle site and download it. So this link here, you could probably click that, but it's fine. And we're going to grab, go to the JDK link here and accept and find the one for your system. In my case, it's the 64 bit. So I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to click that again. Once it's finished downloading, it's going to be here. So you just go Program Files and Java. It's probably going to be named something similar to this one. I re I just renamed it JDK8, but really it's probably going to be named like uh, JDK1. Point. I'm just making up numbers here. 0 0.8.0. It's going to be something similar to this one. But it doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. I just call it JDK8, so I know it's Java 8. So once it's once it's there, you have to change a few system variables here. So I'm actually, I think it's advanced system settings. So view advanced system settings. <coughs> then you want to change environment variables. If you're not on Windows 10, I'm pretty sure in Windows 7 you can just type like environment variables here in the search bar and it will take you to the right place so we want to go in here edit this and we want to go to path and hit edit and mine's it's also going to be different in Windows 7 it's going to be just like a long string of these separated by semicolons so it'll be a little different and basically in yours this probably won't be here this thing right here so you would just go to new and you would grab the file path for JDK8 and the bin folder and copy that and just throw it in here. So you put it right there. But mine's already in here, so I won't add it again. And if you're using Windows 7, you just have to append it to the very front of your environment variables and it should work. And then hit OK and OK and OK here and you should be ready to go <clears throat> to test it I just wrote like a simple little Java program here I call it installing Java and it's just going to print this uh, statement your Java JDK was installed correctly if it was installed correctly so the first thing we do is compile it no errors so it compiled properly and then we run it and there you go, your Java JDK was installed correctly. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.